Welcome to The Pet Stop. I'm Dr. Brian Voynich. Well, it's the most common form of skin tumor and cancer in dogs, and if not diagnosed properly, it can be deadly. We're talking about mast cell tumors, and here to talk about possible causes and options for treatment is veterinarian Dr. Albert Ahn. He's also the president of the Chatham-based AB Science. Hey, great to have you on again. Thank you, Dr. It's been Royer. probably eight years since you were on the last time. It has been, yes. Well, mast cell tumors, uh, tell us about them. Very, very common. Uh, the most common skin tumor and the second most common cancer that we see in dogs. It, they are, and it's very important that pet owners take their pets to the veterinarian, particularly so that bumps can be evaluated by a veterinarian. You know very well that you see these bumps and that you're going to biopsy them, or you might even put a needle in there to get some cells to look at. Because once we know what we're dealing with, we can offer them some very exciting treatments for uh, their pets. Yes, my, my doctors and I have been seeing mast cell tumors, operating, diagnosing them. And there's one here uh, on, on the screen, and that's in the, in the upper, uh, upper gum area of this particular dog. Tell us about this case. Sure. This was a very bad mast cell tumor. This is called a grade 3 mast cell tumor, which is the worst one that you can get. Mm -hmm. And typically, in the past, the options would have been very limited in terms of what could be done for a patient like this. Today, we have some really exciting innovations that give veterinarians and Now, this is how hope. soon after that uh, other picture that we saw? Seven days. Wow, just one in week later on days. this medication, yep. it's got to that point, mm -hmm. which is very remarkable, without surgery, right? Without just, surgery. Just with a pill a day at home. Exactly. Here we are at 14 days. Just two weeks later. Exactly. That's great. That's unheard of. That's yep. uh, amazing. And then and here we are at a month. At one month, totally normal. Now, this, this dog would have had a death sentence, correct? Would have within, what, three months uh, without Not therapy? even three months because Not even. this dog had already failed chemotherapy, mm -hmm. had already failed so tried radiation that. therapy. Tried radiation, okay. Had already failed surgery. So okay. we're looking at maybe four to six weeks. Okay, and it's all about uh, this particular uh, medication here, Kinovet. Correct. And uh, so it seems too good to be true. <laughs> it does. But it's been used it's in Europe as well as the United States now, right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. It's registered in Europe. It's registered in the U.S. And this is part of that new generation of anti-cancer drugs. So people have this image of the traditional chemotherapy, mm -hmm. which can cause a lot of side effects. Yep. These new generation drugs, like Kynovet, are targeted. They're going specifically after the tumor and you can see some very dramatic clinical responses, as you saw in that patient with the big gum tumor. Well, what's really exciting to me and other veterinarians is that um, uh, it's labeled for mast cell tumors, but there's been off-label use for other types of cancers. And in fact, we're using it at, at the American Animal Hospital on, on different other cancers that are, uh, they carry a grave prognosis, like the, the slide that we just saw. And uh, I, I just can't wait for the research uh, that, that's going to be done on that. There's a lot more research going on because as we learn more about these different tumor types, drug development is going to be focused on targeting those tumors and providing better efficacy and better safety. And it just pills at home. Well, animals. thanks. We're out of time, but boy, it was great okay. to have you on. We'll have you on again. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Here's what we've got to uh, working on for tomorrow. And remember, you can always catch the Pet Stop every Saturday and Sunday at 45 minutes past the hour, starting at 645. We see some pretty special animals here in the Pet Stop. If you think you have a pet that has what it takes to be pet of the week, mail us some pictures or videos to the address you see on the screen or email them to thepetstop at news12.com. But be sure to tell us why your pet should be Pet of the Week. For more information on anything about today's show or past shows, just log on to our website, news12.com.